Hey everybody, thanks for sticking around or joining. Fantastic live stream. I don't see any participants yet, but I just uh, want to take an opportunity here to try out some new features. I've got a little more command of the software and just so this is sort of a preview of coming attractions really and we'll be um, taking any questions um, that come in as well. Um, I don't uh, have a, an agenda other than just looking at some game video and maybe discussing it and working out the kinks with the uh, with the, the live stream. Um, so I'm going to get started. Even if we don't uh, have a lot of participants currently, I just jumped on because I've been working on this prep stuff all day and wanted to get it out in front of people and see what kind of action we get. So I now have the ability to and let's look at plays. I think we're good here. This is a recent game I did, a two-person game. Very well-lit gymnasium, brand new facility. Jump ball, obvious out of bounds. <laughs> hey, during jump ball scenarios, we're always getting our bearings straight. Um, and that's just a fact of life. Awesome. So if you can stall, fake it till you make it, all the better. We got a kick ball. Didn't really designate the spot, but we have a, res a reset of the shot clock here in California. Not off to a great start. All right, so let's take a look here at three-point coverage and two-person mechanics. And give me a chance to show you some of my new tools here. All right, so on this throw-in action, let's take a look here like this. All right, so as lead, oh, come on now. I want my features to work. Tab. Okay, give me just a second. a new application called screen brush that allows me to say okay who's officiating what right so trail official is going to have these two players these two players and one of the most challenging things during a throw-in is for the administering official they've got the throw-in action they've got the feet of the thrower They've got whether the, th the player defending the throw in reaches across, etc. They have this action here off ball and this action here off ball. One thing that we can take for granted is that a great percentage of the time throw in plays are designed for the thrower, right? So we want to keep an eye on that. We're underneath the basket in the front court, so we are advised to hand the ball to the thrower, which puts us in the worst possible position to officiate the action. So we've got to give the ball to the thrower and then immediately get wide so we can be aware of this action here, right? Now I'm going to go here and here. Sorry. All right. So the screener gets the ball, open three point shot. Right? What we want, what I would want.
Just a second. There we go. Is uh, to be on the outside here, right? So that I have the ability to officiate from the outside in on any possible defenders coming at this play, right? This player is going to run at my shooter. I want to be able to have an outside in view. As the official on the weak side, right, we're going to have rebound, possible rebounding action here, awareness here of these two. I apologize. My machine is moving a little slow. But so the new features I have is the ability to do mouse clicks and it becomes obvious what we're doing. How about this? How about this sexy tool? Oh, I hold it down. I got it. Right. So we can isolate there. We can isolate on particular plays here, etc. I can draw on screen. Things like this. These are the features that I'm working on. Um, I'm trying to um, incorporate. All right. So we have to do that and then that. All right. Choppy start. Ball goes away. Right? So this is gray area action right here. We've just started our game. Who is going to officiate this play and possible shot? We were at the free throw line extended in two-person mechanics. This is going to be gray area, right? We need to negotiate as a crew how we're going to officiate this play. As lead, we're wide. We want to be mirroring the ball with our outside shoulder. Shoulder, ball. This is good. Not a lot going on. Well, let me try this. In the lead's primary coverage area. How's that? Not a lot going on. We got this matchup here. Nothing much here. Close out of that. Ball comes away and we're back to relaxed. Transition action. Drive, basket. All right. Ball goes into the trail's primary opposite. As lead, right? Uh, okay. Got to remember to do that. Sorry. What becomes our most, most, most compelling matchup? Probably these two, right? This player is either going to come up set, in, uh, set up in the post here or come set a screen, a back screen here. This is certainly what we're aware of, what we're thinking of. I'm going to go out of that. But it doesn't happen. Right? We always want to maintain that fluidity in the game. I'm anticipating this. Didn't happen. Something else happens. The ball's in my primary. I officiate the primary action. Ball goes away, out of my primary. Now I'm officiating off ball. On ball, off ball. On ball, off ball. Right? Finding what we need to officiate next. So as lead, we're probably thinking this post matchup is something to be aware of. This matchup on the weak side, ice cold possible something here. We just want to be aware and available to officiate what happens next. I'm going to go back and go. Okay. 
Okay. So remember our first, so as, as old trail and new lead on this play, right? Ball goes in the basket. The first thing we should do, the first thing is evaluate the defense, right? We have five defensive players right here. What is that defense telling us is going to happen next, right? We don't want to get in the habit of turning. I'm going to run down to the other end of the court and receive the play. Evaluate the defense. What's going to happen next? So we have pressing action. Eight players in the back, and then it, it, then it relaxes. Then we run into the front court. We set up and officiate there. Three-point shot. Right, when we analyze our game video, we're looking at what we do as trail here. We have a lot of players in our primary. Wait, I'm going to click. A lot of players in our primary. Right here. And not a lot going on, though. Got to get used to these controls. Open shot, players running at the shooter. We want to be uh, behind the three-point arc, up, down, and a little bit more. Nothing there. And off we go. All right, patient whistle, drive. Now, so you gotta ask yourself on this play, who's officiating what, right? We have to make a decision. We can, you know, it, what, we, what we would want, like in a three-person game, we would have a center official right here who could officiate this player, and that would allow the trail official, or the uh, lead rather, to officiate this player, right? That would be our best case scenario. In this instance, as trail official, where do you want to be on this play? If home base is 28 foot, we certainly want to be there, but we want to have a look at this play because it, it's difficult for the, for the lead official to officiate both the action from behind and the action in front. And I think I did that pretty well. We'll go back and go again. Good block, and off we go. All right, I'm gonna pause a moment and because I have new features here and I'm going to take a moment. Give me a break, help me out. I have... Okay, so we, when we went to this, uh, okay, I'm gonna go back. All right, so it sounds like when we went to the, when we went to the second screen, which I thought I'd set up effectively. When we went to the second screen, um, no sound. Are we back now? Anybody? Sound is good? I'll go under the assumption it is. Radio check. Okay. All right, let's move on. So my whole entire rant about three-point coverage, uh, it sounds like it went into the ether and was wasted. But the, the official's manual is very straightforward and clear. I'm not going to review it um, again. I apologize. This is what I'm learning. Uh, when I set up all these new uh, combinations of screens and things, um, oh, shit. Okay. okay. All, right. All right. I'm moving, I'm moving on. on. I apologize, I apologize and I'm going to work, work these, these things, things out, out um, um, and, and I'll, I'll fix, fix that. that. But, but three-point three point coverage, coverage sounds, sounds like, like we've, we've, we've uh, uh, we're, we're in, in the, the, 
We're good in the comments. All right, let's move on. All right, I like this. I like this position as trail, right? Staying coming down, not feeling that they need to be behind. We have a matchup here that's not uh, competitive. Matchup there that's not competitive. Let's watch the screening action off ball though. Sorry for that coverage. Nothing. All right. There's our three-point coverage as lead. Right. So, if we're officiating players in our primary coverage area, we see that screening action. We see this player moving, right, to a three-point shot position. As lead, we anticipate them receiving, receiving the ball, the ball mirroring, mirroring outside, outside shoulder, shoulder, open look, look stay, stay with shooter, shooter up, up down, down, and a little, and a little bit, bit more, more, and mark, mark right? right? If the ball, the ball had gone in the basket, basket as lead, we, we score, score the goal, goal as trail, trail we mirror. mirror. We're looking we're at our trail, trail position. position. Now, now he's in perfect, perfect position, which we didn't, didn't have on that earlier drive, right? This is exactly where we want to be for this action. And there, and there he's, he's connected, connected to officiate, to officiate that, play, that play, right? right? Lead has, has gone, gone to, stay to stay with that, that shooter, has put himself out here. here. And, and it's, it's great, great to have, to have a, trail a trail for that, that backside, backside stuff. stuff. Okay, okay now, now there's, there's an, an echo. echo. Okay. okay, I'm responsive. I'm responsive. I, think I think I want this to go down. Yes, I'll bet you that fixes it. Yes, live stream is complicated. It's a little bit complicated. It's complicated. So I've created c complication by adding these multiple screens. I can add a screen where I'm not on the screen and we're looking at plays. I can add a screen where I'm on one side of the screen. I add a screen where I'm on the other side of the screen, etc. And then when we get to the end, we'll have this sexy screen which will be the end screen in the video. So there is some complication. Let's just put it that way. But I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go here and we should be good to go. And off we go. All right, it's good action for a new lead. Let's go back one more. Trail just has a single on-ball matchup, but we got stuff going on on the weak side, right? This player drives, we'd be looking for, immediately looking for secondary defenders. Is one of these guys gonna come over? That's what the trail has to do, secondary defenders. <laughs> Hey, Robert, how are you? How are you? Awesome. I do not want to disconnect his trail on this play, right? We want to step down and pick up these secondary defenders coming in late. All right, rebounding action, right? Here's your classic over the back scenario. We have a possibility, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna use some sexy, uh, no, 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 there we go, right? We see this action, we see white, there is contact. We have the possibility of a rebounding foul. But who gets the ball? There. Blue gets the ball. It's not an obvious foul, right? But Blue gets the ball. We don't need to put a whistle on that play.
Two-person games are certainly a thing in California. We do three-person as well. I'll be doing a three-person game in about two and a half hours tonight. It'll be on NorCal TV. I'll post a link in the, um, in the uh, comments afterward. That should be a good one. But yeah, we do have two-person games. It is what it is. It is what it is. All right. Okay, so we have our first foul, right? A shooting foul. Movement of the officials is good. Obviously, the temperature in this game is super low, although there are some red flags so far. Observing players, positioning our body, and so forth. All right, a little closer. All right. Pri <laughs> Perfect. Oh, excellent. Excellent. All right, we're trail on this play, and this play starts to go. Who is officiating what? Right, we have a primary defender on the play. We have to officiate that player. Then we have secondary defenders here as well, and possibly here as well. Lead has to be aware of all that possibility, but primarily pick up this defender here. Right? Do we have arm contact on this play on the front side? Maybe. God damn it. Video quality poor. Man, I would expect the lead to pick that up. But it is what it is. Uh-oh. High school mechanics. Sorry. All right. That's a tough part of the court for uh, trail to officiate. Lead appears to have an open look. Hmm. I don't know. All right, drive, secondary defender. This is the one we're worrying about, the one in front. Oh, nice reverse. Love players who can make plays to take all of the pressure off the off the referees. Love it. Like players who can make space inside legally and get the look that they need. That's so fantastic. And take just take so much pressure off of us making decisions. Open look. All right, so what are we setting up with the two high post players, possible screening action, possible elevator play? This is what, you know, we're thinking immediately. And indeed, oh, <laughs> where's the open look? Right there. All right, so this game was like six weeks ago, but when these players set up in this fashion, these two players coming up high like this, that's immediately what I'm thinking. 
elevator play, possible screening action, etc. Teams, the players are not usually able to execute these things very well. But it doesn't materialize, even though they were running that. All right, we have a call. I think we have a traveling violation. Don't know about that. I'm going to jump ahead to some second act, half action. Again, my main goal here is to work out the kinks, and, the, and it sounds like the audio earlier was one of the problems. Get better game video. Pressing action. I think we have blue ahead by uh, 10 or so at this point. Hmm. Hmm. I do see that blue is has sixteen fouls. So we're in the bonus. Possible travel. Marginal. All right. There was a play in this game that I thought was really compelling. I'm going to find it. Or maybe not. All right, this is it. All right. So blue goes down super hard on this play. And I'm lead on the front side. And I see the action up top. And I know that that, is, that action did not cause this player to go down. But when we see a body hit the floor like that, what's our thinking? Our brain says something illegal happened. Either their legs were taken out or what have you. So what happens on this play is white two is grabbing his left arm, right? There's our clamp, our hold on rebounding action. So what's missing here is our trail official, right? We'd want to be in the center position. And if we are, we have a great open look on that play and we get this foul. You know, the action on the front side up top. Legal. He gets the ball up top. So we missed that one. I told 34 a couple plays later, I said, or I said, you know, I asked him, did we miss that? 
And he said, yeah, he was holding me, right? We, we need to be able to see plays in order to make calls. We need our crew to be in position to see plays, to make calls. And when we miss calls and the result is a player going hard to the floor like that, that's not a good feeling and uh, one we want to improve on. All right, I'm going to check. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to that screen that gave us problems. Turn on the mic so that I can be heard. And I'm going to look at comments. All right. Jason's giving me a second chance. I appreciate that. <laughs> Oh, so in California, um, two-person, there is certainly a lack of officials. Absolutely. In all sports. In all sports. Um, there's, and we're going to have, you know, we're uh, NCS playoffs, uh, section playoffs start in just a couple, like a week and a half. And we're going to have two-person crews for high school varsity playoff games starting with the first and second rounds. And part of it is there are just not enough officials and there are not enough qualified officials and there's not enough qualified officials for three person to handle the number of games that need to be assigned. There's hundreds of games um, on the first night of playoffs and there just aren't enough officials. So um, Super disappointing. If you're on that eight versus nine seed and it's a super competitive game and it's just two of you, you know it could be better. Um, but that is a fact of life here in California. Midnight in Senegal. <laughs> Tremendous. Tremendous. You know, the pixelation on the video is related to the actual video itself. And I could have converted it and I should have converted it. Um, sometimes the 60 frames per second video that you get, which is like the quality when it's running is super good. And we, when we look at that slow motion video of the rebounding action, the quality is like, wow, this is really, really, really good. But sometimes when I play it um, just straight up, it's not great. It has that pixel. And, and thanks, thanks everybody, everybody for sticking, for sticking around, around and bearing with me. You're, you're helping, helping me through the, the, the learning curve of, of getting, getting things uh, better. better. This, 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 this video was not was super well prepared, prepared but, but the, the next, next one will be. And I'll see, see you in the, the next, next video. video. Take, Take care. care.